Hey folks, it's Steve Wilmus and Matt Keita. We're here with a quick public service announcement on playgrounds. And Matt and I have been out doing playground inspections and uh, we're seeing a lot of rust out there. And I want to bring your attention to why we're seeing the rust because it happens in very particular points. And uh, anyone have any ideas of where that might be? Well, anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I I guess I guess I could say it. Let's just say there there would be the joint the joint points anywhere where you actually have connections. So in particular, welding would right. be a spot where you're going to see the potential right for for rust to build in the cracks and the in the imperfections and the job. Right, exactly. Um, if anyone's studied welding, we know that there's a lot of different types uh, that are done out there. But one of the problems that we're seeing, especially with our playgrounds, is these welds are are kind of shoddy, I would say. Um, they're not real smooth. Um, they're not real consistent in the application of the welding technique. And what that does is when the moisture, the, when the dew point is such that water starts to form overnight, or you have rain, or these types of things, um, we're seeing that that water sitting there and then just kind of working its way in uh, to these areas. And so it's important that you start to put on your preventative maintenance schedule a program that is going to go out and take a look at the welds, clean them up a little bit, put the rust uh, inhibitor on those welds. In and then repaint and you do that with manufacturer approved products and you do that when kids aren't around and they're not going to be using the playground but uh, if you want to prolong the life of your playgrounds and prevent the rust then start to look at your welds and demand that the manufacturer that you're buying the equipment from this this is happening with some equipment more than others um, and as I, I believe I'm not you know again I'm not 100% certain, but I believe that it may be in the uh, manufacturing process itself as to where they're having these things welded. Um, but they're not, not real consistent and not real smooth, and they collect moisture. And um, there's other reasons for it too, but when you start to see a lot of rusting happening at the welds, it can be an incompatibility with the uh, welding materials itself and then also the moisture so right. focus in on those areas uh do your you know we do the inspections of course but focus in on those areas and have a little bit of preventative maintenance where you're going out and cleaning that up and it will prolong the life of your equipment quite uh, dramatically and i will just say overall for the beautification of the site like take take the summers a lot of a lot of our districts are painting the buildings and then they leave the playground uh, unfinished. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah it, 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 it's it's dull. The co it's sun dulled and, and and blotchy and with with marks at where where things happen where kids ran into it. It, it just yeah, yeah it, it just it just I mean it's it's kind of like you have this nice this nice view or something, and then you just have this dull thing in the corner that just sullies the whole image. I'll tell so, you exactly what it's yeah. like, Matt. You want to know what it's like? You go, it's to, like, you go to a beautiful restaurant. You're having a great meal, beautiful meal, spending it with your whoever, friend, partner, yeah. lover, whatever. And then you're like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. And you walk in the bathroom and it's like, what happened here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like, folks. So yeah. get your playgrounds clean. That's our public service announcement. If you got a lot of rust, that's usually the reason why that we're seeing it in our newer, more updated playgrounds. Like the equipment is still good. It's structurally really good. All that is just right around all these welds are, are have a failure point. So check it out. Yep. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Talk to you all soon. Have a great day.